Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today I'm going to be showing you guys my foundation routine which I told you in the last video that I would be making. So here it is. And this routine is just showing you guys how I do my foundation when I want my skin to look really really nice. So as you can tell I have it fully covered. It's ready for photos. I'll show you guys, I'll tell you guys a little more about that. I have it nice and mattified with a nice contour and the glow. I love the glow. And just very simple other stuff. I will show you guys everything that I do and I hope you guys enjoy the video. And before we get into it, I just want to mention real quick that I will be live streaming on a schedule. I'm not exactly sure which days right now, but I will have my YouNow linked in the description box down below. So if you follow me on YouNow and you download the app, you'll get a notification every time I live stream. So you guys can ask me questions and we can just interact like in real time, which is so cool. But anyways, I'm gonna get onto the tutorial right now. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is putting my hair back. So it is out of my face and out of my way when I'm doing my makeup. Okay, so now it's all up out my grill, I can start with priming my face. So I'm using my Skin to Navia Makeup Priming Spray. And this is the oil control one because I do tend to have oily skin. Kind of combination, but slightly on the oilier side, especially when I'm wearing makeup. So I tend to prefer to use the oil-free one. So I'm just going to shake this and then spray it all over my face. Um, when you do your makeup, you want to make sure that your hands are clean, so you always got to freshly wash them. I'm talking soap and water, I'm not talking hand sanitizer. I don't know why, but I see people do that all the time. I'm just like, oh, I'll just put some hand sanitizer on. And now I'm just going to rub my face with my hands. And it's like all of the stuff that was on your hands is still on your hands. And then hand sanitizer is on top of it. It's all mixed together, and then you're like putting that stuff on your face. Like, I guess it kills some of the germs, but like all of the dirt and grime, like it's still in your hands, so I don't really get that. There's a loud bird outside, so if you hear that during this tutorial, I am so sorry. For my foundation, I use Makeup Forever Professional Ultra HD, and mine's in the shade Y445. And this was actually designed for taking selfies and for being like a flawless finish. I talked to the Makeup Forever people once and the guy that was there was telling me all about how when you do flash photography, it's supposed to just like make your skin look perfect and they had selfies in mind while creating this. So as a person who takes selfies, this is a useful product to have. <laughs> So I use this for my Makeup Forever Straight Brush, which is their foundation brush, and I find that it's really good at applying foundation, especially if you want to have a really good amount of coverage. And I used to use stippling brushes and other brushes that are like kind of flat top, but like not as dense as this if you use it on the side. And those ones wouldn't give me as great coverage as this brush does, so this is definitely my favorite foundation brush right now. So what I like to do to avoid having to put this onto my hands and then onto my face, like on the back of my hand, um, to just avoid that whole mess, I just squirt it straight onto the brush and I do two pumps. I'll do one pump over there, one pump on this side, wipe it off. And then it has like that much foundation on it and I'm just going to place this all over the different parts of my face that need the most coverage. So pretty much like cheeks, chin, and then I go to my forehead nose. So now you're done. That's it. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so now that it's placed all around my face, I just use this brush and I kind of tap it to blend it in. And this is a lot better than like swiping because that just kind of moves it around. Tapping sort of like places it on your skin and gives you a better finish than swiping and moving it around wood. So now that it's all blended in, I'm just going to swipe over my lids with whatever is left on the brush just to make sure that this is kind of evened out. And then I'm going to use the brush to also blend along my jawline and make sure that it doesn't look like I'm wearing a mask. You also want to make sure that your hairline is blended in too, which I kind of do when I'm like blending it out and tapping it out. But you just want to go over that again real quick. Make sure it's blended into your ears and it's all good. So now that I have my base on, I'm going to use concealer for my 
stupid acne that just popped up like yesterday and just anything on my face that I want to conceal a little bit more and just a little bit under my eyes I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer in Deep 34 and my Sigma F75 concealer brush again I just squirted it out directly onto the brush so it's easier with cleanup and I don't have anything on my hand This is so cute, I should just keep it like this. kind of looks tribal with like the dots and everything. <laughs> yeah, then I'm gonna just use the same concealer brush and just kind of tap it into my skin while kind of blending it out at the same time. So here we go, this is what it all looks like with the concealer on. Next I take my banana powder by Ofra and I use this under my eye area and a little bit on my forehead also and on my chin just because it really smooths out the skin. It makes the skin look like it's poreless and just perfect. So I always apply this right underneath my eyes to kind of highlight there and to also give that like smoother very fine powder effect. And I just use a small brush to do that, so this is the e.l.f. blush brush. So right away you can see the difference. I put the powder on this eye and it's very smooth and soft and poreless and a little bit highlighted. And then this side, it's just like the regular skin color kind of. And if I don't powder, then the concealer is definitely going to crease under here. So this helps with creasing and also a little bit with if you have under eye blue circles. Since yellow is the opposite of purple on the color wheel, um, if you have any like bluey purple sort of bags under there, then it will help brighten that out and negate the blur hole. To powder the rest of my face, I use my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45, and this does provide a little bit more coverage and it mattifies, which is what I need since my skin does tend to glisten, especially when I'm wearing makeup, so I want to add a little bit more coverage and to mattify. Now I just use a big fluffy brush to apply this, so this is my e.l.f. complexion brush. So I'm just going to kind of pat that on. Pretty much everywhere except for where I put the banana powder, but I'm gonna kind of blend the two together so it's not like streaky or weird or anything, and just to get like kind of one seamless um, texture. And then I just like to pick up some on all of the sides of the brush and just use this to lightly blend. Just kind of blending outwards though and down and like away from the center of my face just kind of the way that the hairs on your face grow so then they won't be all crazy all over the place and it's just like a good overall like blending I guess <laughs> all right so that's all the work I would call it like the whole like oh no let's make this look perfect and now here's the fun part which is like let's chisel that stuff and make that jawline pop so I'm gonna be contouring a little bit using my bronzer from Hard Candy and this is in 132 heat wave you can get this at like Walmart I believe I think it's just sold at Walmart and I'm using my Luxie 512 small contouring brush which is perfect for my cheekbones it fits right in there and it's great for blending out the contour too. I'm just gonna swirl a little bit onto the brush and suck in my cheeks and just start placing it kind of at the base like right under the cheekbone and making little circles and then pulling it out. And you want to start with not too much product on your brush so then you can slowly build it up so you're not trying to blend out a huge streak of brown which is a lot harder than slowly building up a little bit of a contour. So 
So this stuff is like sort of shimmery, but it's not shimmery enough to the point where it's like, wow, you can see some of the shimmer. It's just kind of like a nice texture sheen sort of to it but it doesn't look shimmery so I also use this to do a little bit of contouring around my jawline so you just want to swirl a little bit of that around just lightly blend it out so you can kind of define your features and make it look like your jawline is sharp enough to cut anyone who messes with you see look now it looks like wow there is a jaw there I'm going to do the same thing to the edge of my forehead so I can get like a 3D sort of fading look. Just blend that into your hairline. Just everywhere, everywhere. If I'm really going hard with my makeup, I will contour my nose a little bit and I'll just use my little Sigma small tapered blending brush to go along to go down the lines of the side of my nose, across a little bit and at the tip, and then just blend it out. So now there's like a nice subtle shaping to your nose and a little bit of a slimming effect. For my everyday blush, I love using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Flush because it's like a nice deepish color that's not too deep, not too bright, so it's a good for my like medium caramelly skin. And this stuff lasts so long. I've been using this forever and you can still see the imprint of the shape on here which I love because this is matte pigmented, so you don't need a lot of this. You just kind of tap your brush onto it and then you're good. You don't need to swirl or anything. And I use the same brush that I used to put on my face powder to do this and to blend it out. I think the funnest part is highlighting, so I'm using my Ofra Blush Stripes in Illuminating and my Luxie Pro Precision Tapered Brush, which is my favorite brush for highlighting because it's so soft and it feels so good on your skin and it does a great job with picking up just the right amount and then blending it out. I'm gonna swipe across so I get all the colors and that's a good amount. So I'm gonna slowly place that on my cheekbone and then I'm going to blend it very lightly. And this stuff looks amazing right next to the banana powder because the banana powder is very matte so it makes a really nice contrast when you want to be lit and you want everyone to know that you're lit. Now I take my finger and do the same vertical swiping and I put a little bit of this down the bridge of my nose to highlight that feature. I can do the same thing for my cupid's bow, which I tend to do after lips because it's just going to get ruined by the lipstick, but I'll just redo that later. And then I do the same thing under my eyebrow. I like to use my finger for this just because, I don't know, I got used to doing it with my finger and it's easy to blend. So here we go, now we have a really nice canvas to do any extra work on it. I guess you could, you could always leave it like this if you want, but I'm gonna fill in my eyes, fill in my eyes, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna like pour concrete into them. I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows and do some liner and just add some lips and it will finish off this full face look. All right, so I just ended up doing my brows and some mascara and then some neutral lipstick. I put a little bit of the highlight back on my cupid's bow and then a little bit in my inner corners. So this is what I do for my foundation when I really want my skin to look beautiful. And yeah, I hope that was helpful for you guys or at least entertaining. Um, I'll have all the products that I use listed in the description box down below as well as with all of the links. And I'll have all of my channels linked down below including my new channel, which if you guys haven't heard of it, it's my cooking channel and I have new episodes ready to be posted on there, so don't forget to subscribe to that channel if you guys want to see how I cook and what I eat and just some cool new recipes. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and comment down below what your foundation routine looks like and what is your favorite foundation. I love finding out about people's favorite foundations, so let me know what you guys use. But that's it for today's tutorial, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you chameleons in the next one. Kisses. Mwah.